Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Charlton D'Souza. I'm the president of uh, Passengers United. Uh, the spelling of my name is C is in cat, H is in house, A is in apple, R is in rain, L is in light, P is in cat, O is in orange, N is in navel, and then it's D'Souza, D is in dog, S is in school, O is in orange, U is in union, Z is in zebra, A is in apple. Um, so we're here today outside MT headquarters at the Bowling Green uh, train station. And I want to talk to you guys about the MTA fair discount proposals. So as you guys know, in December, the MTA passed a, a fair discount policy that would go into effect on February 28th. And as you know, uh, Omni cards, the Omni prepaid cards will be, uh, they're going to be having a fair capping program, which is excellent. So if you put 275 on your Omni card at a time, and you do up 12 rides, uh, starting on a Monday, if you do 12 rides, the 13th ride automatically becomes free. And your Omni card, in a sense, becomes a seven day unlimited card. So what's nice about this new fare discount program is it gives four New Yorkers an opportunity to pay uh, at a time, instead of paying upfront for a seven day unlimited. But here's what we're concerned about at Passengers United. Uh, we're concerned that the NICE bus, Nassau Inter-County Express in Nassau County, and also Beeline buses will not be accepting the, um, will not be accepting the, uh, what you call that, the Omnicard. Um, there's been some uh, issues with getting the fare box readers uh, for, that are owned by the MTE installed on nice bus um, and also on beeline buses uh, so as a result of that you know people who live in Nassau and Westchester they won't be able to use Omni and they won't be able to take advantage of these new discounts and as for the Long Island Railroad um, we're very concerned because city ticket is going up from four dollars and fifty cents to five dollars and this is off peak and also on weekends and we were hoping that the MT would keep it either at $4.50 or bring down the city ticket to $3.75. So there's been a lot of issues um, with the way the fare policy was rolled out. And I can tell you, we at Passengers United, we really had raised a lot of red flags in December. And one of the things I told the MT board was, if you're going to have fare policy discounts, extend the Atlantic Ticket Weekly uh, Metro Card uh, or the Atlantic Ticket Long Island Railroad 7 Day Pass, extend it so it could be used overnight and on weekends and during off-peak hours on the Long Island Railroad. That didn't happen, um, so people who, you know, travel overnight will have to pay $5. And if you're going to Southeast Queens or the Northeast Bronx and you need to transfer to a bus, you're going to be paying close to $7.75. And so that defeats the purpose of fair equity. So what we were hoping was the city ticket would be reduced to $3.75 so that, you know, the difference in the $2.75 could be made up by using a bus. It would have been even better if it was $3.75 with a bus transfer. But these things were not worked out. So the MT is telling us that what they're going to be doing is they're going to be re-evaluating re uh, this fare structure for the next four months and they're going to get back to us on that. Um, but many of you know, I, I work overnight and I have to take three buses home. So taking three buses because the subway is dangerous, if I had the 375 option to take the Long Island Railroad overnight, that would be a game changer for me. Or if a weekly pass, the $60 weekly Atlantic ticket was accepted at Penn Station, that would be a more, you know, better option. Now for our brothers and sisters who live in the Bronx, you know, they're being affected by this. Many people in the Bronx cannot afford $5. That is too expensive for them. Many of people who live, you know, in the outer boroughs uh, live below the poverty level. So this is why the MT has to make these fair policies fair to everyone. Um, and they haven't done that. And I can tell you, I've testified at all these MT boards and committee meetings. And I can tell you it's been a very big issue. 
with getting the board to go along with what we're proposing. Um, so this is why I urge all of you to call your elected officials, get involved with Passengers United, and just talk to people in general. Um, so basically, we're just here today asking the MTE to please get the new Omni Fair Card readers installed on the buses right away so that people in Nassau County and Suffolk can take advantage of the Omni transfer system. Uh, so this has been Passengers United. Uh, my name is Charlton D'Souza. I'm the president and founder, and we're outside the institutional VR. So thank you so much, guys.